Hey guys, Delphine here. Um, so my package arrived today. It's from the hermitcrabpatch.com. That'll focus. Yeah, I absolutely love these guys. When it comes to hermit crab stores online or elsewhere, these guys are the best. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got from them. I spent 50 bucks on this, and that's not to say that they're expensive. I bought a lot of crab, okay? Because I love my hermit crabs. So I'm gonna open this and show you guys what I got. Alright guys, so this is the stuff I got from them. Uh, here's my receipt. Just got all the stuff I got. It's also got my address, so... Alright. It's a little hard to do with one hand. So, let me open this. Alright, so... Mostly I got a lot of food, but then I got a few other things. Alright, so these are some of the things I got. This is my, um... Powdered coral calcium, and it's honey flavored, so it tastes better for them. So it's crushed up. Coral, calcium, duh. And it's got honey flavoring, so it tastes better and the crabs will eat it. This is one of the new things they have. It's ground popcorn, but then they uh, have three different flavors that they dust in different stuff. This one here is called Flower Power. It's hibiscus powder and bee pollen. And if you didn't know, bee pollen is super, super healthy. It's one of the superfoods. So it'll be really healthy for the hermit crabs. And this is one of the other flavors. It's a uh, sweet claw. Um, and it's got dried coconut milk and honey powder, so it's super, super sweet. My hermit crabs, I know that they love coconut because I've put in halves of coconut in there before and they've just gone to town on it. Alright, so here is another package. Alright, so let's see what this one is. It's a little more difficult to open because it's got tape right here. Alright. Alright, so in this one, this is something special. I am really looking forward to this. Sorry. It is their, well, it's not theirs. This one is um, Colorado Critter Company, but they sell it on their website. It's an uh, Indo color supplement. It helps on the hermit crab's blue color come out. It's mostly for Indos because they're naturally blue crabs. But um, I would recently bought an Ecuadorian that's in blue color, which is pretty rare to find. And in most Ecuadorians, the color, as they keep molting, it fades away. But um, I asked the people at uh, Hermit Crab Patch, and they said that this would help bring out the color with every molt um, of my Ecuadorian, because it's in its genetics to be blue already. Uh, it'll also help my purple pinchers be more purple. I have one purple pincher, and it'll probably bring out some blue color in my other Ecuadorian bazooka. But um, he's, I don't think he's genetically blue. I don't know. I got him when he was about medium size, so he might have been. Let's see what else we got in here. All a big surprise. Alright, okay, sorry if the video keeps like flipping up and down or whatever. I keep setting my phone down. I think it's messing up which way the video is videoing. But I'm trying to fix it. Alright, so it's in here. Okay, so this is this is another thing that I got. I'll pull it out here. This is for my sand mix. They um sell this pre-made sand mix and it's super awesome. But it was, it's 25 pounds, and with shipping, it's just astronomical to get it shipped. So instead, I got um, one of their sand kits. I mix this into my own sand, and it makes it almost just as good as theirs. So we got the hermit crab soil that expands. It helps hold the humidity. We got some oyster shells, which are good for calcium. Um, mix it into the sand and sprinkle a little on top. They can go in, they can, uh, if they need calcium, they can pick these up and crunch on them. Um, and then I also got, they got some instant ocean, one gallon worth of instant ocean. So instead of mixing my sand to make it wet with normal, like distilled water or whatever, I can have some salt water like normal sand would be, you know, at a beach. It's got salt water washing up on it, so probably should mix in some salt water, right? Normal logic. Alright, so got a few other things in here, plus a business card. Hold on, they're going to be a little difficult to get out. Alright, so here's one thing. It's my uh, streak-free microfiber cloth that I got. Um, I have a lot of water spots in my glass. I can't even like see through it or get a video of my hermit crabs because it's so bad. It's because to give them the humidity, I used to have to miss the cage several times a day until I got my um, humidifier for Christmas. It's really expensive, but I think it's really worth it. My crabs have really become more active since I got it because they've had constant humidity. So this is going to help me clean off the glass. Um, because I'm going to tell you about what I'm going to do in a minute after I open these packages. So I asked you guys for video ideas, but I already have one coming up. 
and that's going to be, um, I'm going to reset up my hermit crab tank, because I am got some new sand mix, and I'm going to get some new sand, and I'm going to redo the tank, clean it out, because it's really dirty. And then while I'm doing that, I'll show you guys how to set up a hermit crab tank. So, all you guys out there know. Alright, this is, like, holy water to my hermit crabs. This is hermit crab patch surf and turf. It's their own protein combo. It's got seven different types of, you know, critters in here all mashed up. From land and sea, freeze-dried krill, shrimp, mealworms, bloodworms, all sorts of yummy stuff. My hermit crabs can't get enough of this, so I had to buy their biggest pouch. Alright, and then this is not to be opened. This is my soil supplement. Um, on top of the surf and turf, they really love this stuff. It's just 100% organic worm castings, which sounds pretty gross, but my hermit crabs love it, and it's really good for them. It's all organic. I got a big one pound pack, one pound pack because, hey, why not buy in bulk? All right, so that's all I got out of my package. It's a lot of stuff for such a tiny package. So, um, yeah, I'll show you guys when I'm setting up my hermit crab tank. Um, I'm getting another hermit crab soon. It'll be my fourth hermit crab. I've just had a lot of problems in the past. My biggest crab, bazooka, um, can be very violent when it comes to after molts, when crabs are at their most violent. It's kind of like a shed for reptiles, but it makes them kind of squishy. They're not hard. They don't have a hard exoskeleton. So he recently just killed one of my favorite crabs. Um, that was Batman. He, Batman and Bazooka, the crab that killed him. Um, I've had them, they were my first hermit crabs, along with Amy, who died about a month after I bought her. She just, I couldn't do anything about her. Um, but yeah, I've added several crabs to the tank in the past, and I just love going out to stores and buying hermit crabs that are in terrible environments, because I love just giving them new homes, knowing that they'll be so happy here because of the constant high humidity that they need to even breathe. Um... I'm sure you guys know, but if you don't, uh, hermit crabs have modified gills. Um, they're born in the water and then go through several molts before they're able to survive on land. And even then, they have to breathe moist air in order to actually use their gills to breathe. So a constant high humidity is very, very vital to the hermit crabs. Another thing that's very vital is that they have company. So um, it was it's always a problem when this, most of my crabs go into molt and then there's one left because a lonely hermit crab has a shorter lifespan. And then one of the key key things is to have nice, deep, proper sand for them to be able to bury in and molt. So I'm getting some new sand for them. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. So I'll make a video for you guys when I do that. Um, I'll show you all my hermit crabs because I'm going to have to take them out. And I'll show you how to set up a tank and all the things you need to know to take care of a hermit crab. So if you're interested, come by and see. If you're not, come by anyway. You might learn some things or two. I mean, you might think hermit crabs are just like land goldfish, but they're actually really, really interesting, and they're not exactly the easiest things to care for if you want to do it extremely properly. So yeah, that's all the things that came in my package, guys. Um, if you have any hermit crabs or are thinking about them, check out the hermit crab patch. Not only do they have great, great supplies, but they have tons and tons of knowledge there. You can ask the two of them anything. They also have their care guides on the website. Which is a really, really great website. I suggest anyone go there. So that's um, hermitcrabpatch.com. Not the in the website. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Come back soon for my hermit crab video. I'll try and get it set up tomorrow. Um, I'd have to go out and buy the sand, though, and mix it all together. But that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. See you then.